Hey guys, so coming up is the last part in my Exploring the Old West series and this is also part two during my visit to Old Sacramento and this will feature the Railway Museum. Coincidentally, this will also be my last part of my California adventure for that visit. My name's Arthur and this is my rolling vlog. I'm now heading towards the Railway Museum in Old Sacramento. As I've heard, it's really good. So I'm now in the California State Railway Museum. And this museum is the largest in the United States and the second largest in the world. The largest being in York, England. So this was Central Pacific's first locomotive. It's a classic American Type 4, point four point oh. Now these trains were expensive and they had to be purchased from the industrial centres of the East. The firm of Richard Norris and Sons in Philadelphia completed this locomotive in 1862. So that's how old this train is. It's incredible. So this board signifies a record set by Central Pacific because before that day Union Pacific had a record where they laid seven miles of rail track in one day but on April 28, 1869 Central Pacific managed to lay 10 miles of track in one day and that record set on that day still stands. This train is known as Silver State and it was named after the state of Nevada. I think it's so cool. It was built in 1881 and it was described as the finest passenger coach seen in many a day. Just looking at it, well, you know I like Disney, and looking at this makes me think of Disney quite a lot. And they've even got a high-speed rail, although I might be doing historic stuff, but I have to show this. It's so cool. And they've even got a ramp that I can actually get in this one. So I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. I wonder what it's like inside the driver's seat here. But I can't get in. There's a rope. And these are what the seats look like inside a high-speed railway. It's nice. And because of the speed that the high-speed rail trains go, they have to pressurise the cabins, just like an aircraft. It's crazy, isn't it? This place also has a high-speed simulator, so I'll show you guys what it's like. Now on the monitor in front of you, there's a blue line, which is the speed limit. The green line is the speed you're actually doing. Mm -hmm. And the speed limit is 43 because you've got to come through this nasty little curve. Mm -hmm. Once you're out on the main line, You've got to get all 10 cars of your train out onto the main line before you can go fast. When that entire train is out, the blue line will go up to 200 and you can pull the throttle all the way back. Pretty quick here. There you go. Pull your throttle all the way back. The current speed limit is 320 kilometers per hour or 200 miles per hour. Shift the power handle to 10 to run faster. And this is typical high-speed rail. It's elevated, it's got fences on both sides, there's no pedestrian crossings, no grade crossings. What it also has, however, is a wide-angle lens, now the simulator so it will foreshortens forward, the distance, so you, you know, get the sensation of speed. Kilometers per hour, or 200 miles per hour. So you're Our doing 197 now. Think of it this way, those posts are probably 100. 50 feet apart, 100 feet to 150 feet. At 320 kilometers per hour, or 200 miles per hour. Okay, the machine is slowing you down because you've got a station stop in six miles. 
So go ahead and close your throttle all the way down. The little box below the, the monitor there says ATC, that's automatic train control. And it's slowing you down about one mile per hour per second, which is slow enough that, uh, or easy enough that people walking through the train don't get thrown around. Yeah. Coming into the station, we get turned out to the left to a station like the one we came out of. And no, we'll go to we'll three notches to the on the brake when I tell you. The ATC brake has been released because our current speed is below the limit. Okay, here we go Set into the, the station and, and get ready with the brake. Which is this? And go three notches down. Shift there you the go. brake handle to four to reduce speed. If you can speed. reach the horn button, you see the man in the black suit. He doesn't back up if you don't blow the horn. <laughs> this is the training simulator from Japan National Railways, so and that's one of their little tests to see if the engineer is paying attention. I think. Okay, we've got too much Watch break on. Back off one notch to three. Stop the train using the brake handle. Go ahead, to, all the way to E. Put the brake all the way to E, please. Thank you. Okay, seven hundredths of a second early. 165 feet short, so about two car lengths short. But that's Thank you. Right on time. <laughs> well, that was awesome. It gave me such an insight of what it's like to drive one of these high speed rails, which is so cool. And if you come here, I highly recommend you do it. I've now moved on to my model trains. And this is a Lionel Freight outfit set from 1929. It's amazing how good condition it is in. And they have this electronic section. The numbers here correspond to the numbers here. So these model trains in this display cabinet were from the 1900s. To 1925 but these ones here are from 1925 to 1940 so this is my sort of thing so the trains in this display can get activated with these buttons So awesome. And this train looks really cool. I can actually get down to this one. So this train is called the Nevada Short Line. And it was built in 1979 by Baldwin Locomotives Works in Philadelphia. And for those that are interested, it's a type 2-6-0 with a 36 inch narrow gauge. Whatever that means. I had a great time in Old Sacramento and the Railway Museum. I've got many more adventures to come, but sadly, this will be my last adventure from California for this journey. But for now, it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.